Top of the day to you on what's the word is self-appreciation. That's right. We're going to learn how to appreciate ourselves. So now you heard that that's the word. All right. Self-appreciation is about understanding the importance of yourself and, and, you know, understanding who you are as a person. Have you ever just evaluated you? Just look at you as a as a whole, as a person. Well, make sure that you get your journal and get a pen or a pencil and let's start evaluating yourself. Even if you need to just go to the mirror and kind of just like look at yourself, you know, look at all your features, how you was created, how you was designed. You are uniquely and wonderfully made. Regardless of what you see or what you think, it's all about your spirit. Your spirit what makes you who you are. A lot of people want to look at the outer features, but it's more about your spirit, what lies within this earth suit. Okay, so that's what it's all about. So learn how to value your life. Value your life. You are alive and you are experiencing life right now. And appreciate that. Some people, life be taken like um, a breath. And you're here today, gone tomorrow, or I just seen you, and next thing you know, you're you're not you're not you unalive. You're not here on this earth anymore. So we understand that we go through things and we suffer through things, and and sometimes we have tough times. But overall, when you do a self evaluation and you understand the importance of yourself, you look you still here the next day. So even though one day feel like it was like everything was coming down, you still got another opportunity to make it. So, you know, pick yourself up, get out of that, you know, downward, you know, spiral. And I understand because I used to have low self-esteem. <laughs> you wouldn't think, but yes, look, go back, look on some of my channels, some of the episodes that we have and, you know, go in and find yourself. You're not the only one that's on this journey. You, we have a lot of people that's on this journey experiencing and going through the same thing. It just sometimes is in different ways. And we also handle it in different ways. Okay? So don't reduce that, that you are amazing. You know, the most amazing thing is that you are blessed with life. You're still here to breathe and to see another day. You know, I know our ancestors... This, you know, gone. They wish they could tell you that some of the things that they've done, they wish they would have done it in a better lay, a better way. And maybe they would be here on this earth a little longer than they did. And then sometimes it's just everybody got an expiration date. It just it was your time. You done completed your mission and your assignment that you was here to do. And you understood that assignment. And it's time for you to level up. You know, okay, get your wings. So it's about helping appreciation your help appreciating yourself has also to do with doing self talks, uh, find affirmations like I am who I am. I am fearfully and wonderful made. That's word. Find scriptures that they have to talk to yourself, you know, motivation, motivational words to help you along your way. I am someone. I am loved. Even if I love myself, I'm still loved. I already know that God loved me. It's all these things that you can tell yourself that help understand that you are self-appreciated. Majority of the time we be looking for the self-appreciation that for other people to tell you. But sometimes you need to first learn how to tell yourself. People probably be telling you, but you're so blind and expecting with the expectancy of other people telling you that first you got to understand and learn how to tell yourself. And let yourself know that you mean a lot to yourself. You still here and you mean a lot to other people too. You wouldn't imagine all the things that you do for others. And you're like, well, I didn't do anything. You here. You alive. You present. Go back and do that episode about yesterday. It was about present. You present. You here. That is so important to a lot of people that you wouldn't even think, you know, that you wouldn't important to. But be gone and see what happened. Oh, 
I forgot you can't see it. What happened? You gone. Yeah. So make sure you keep yourself up and we want to see you on this next episode. All right. So you got this. Things that we are grateful for. That's another thing that you could journal and think about as you look upon yourself. What are you grateful for? What are you grateful for about support? You know, you support it and then others support you. Qualities. Look at you. You got great qualities uh, within yourself. And you could you got all kinds of qualities could be with your talents. It could be with your gifts that you have and then rely. Like I was saying, other people rely on you. You know, you you are important. So uh, these are things that, that help understand about self-appreciation, that you appreciate yourself, that you are here. All right. Let's uh, look at ourselves as we have grown through the years. We used to, you know how we used to be, you know, <laughs> example, whenever, well, I'm a little flip now, but <laughs> whenever I was younger, I was thin and bones. I was so frail. You could actually see my skeleton, you know, features underneath this. But now, baby, I learned how to cook and I'm just like fluffy. I mean, yes, of course, I want to lose some of this fluff, but guess what I'm doing? I have a plan. I have a plan to lose this fluffiness and get that frame back to what it was designed to be. But it's about self-sacrificing. But I have a vision and staying true to that vision. Yes, you can have one or two cheat days, but not every day or every week. Have one or two, you know, cheat days uh, out of a month and let that be that. You enjoy it and then you let that go. You know, so we got to kind of get rid of some of those king foods. The king's food is killing a lot of us. It's creating, you know, fluffiness, diseases, and all kinds of other uh, things. So make sure you kind of kind of take yourself off if you want to walk this way or if you want to have that vision totally up to you. All right. So what are some more of the uh, things that you are that you could be grateful for dealing with yourself? What kind of qualities? Um, what about like? little achievements like um as i start working on myself i did the daniel's diet the daniel's diet is vegetables and water no meat no bread no nothing just any type of vegetables with water for 10 days i did that so that's a self appreciation that's an achievement that i've done like i did like wait a minute i'm doing this and i don't have all those temptations grabbing me especially wait let me tell you, and they come, baby, I love me a good turkey wing. And guess what? When Friday came on my last day, I said, turkey wing man was coming for me. No turkey wing man, I can't do it. I'm not going to do it. Oh, oh, somebody bought some donuts. Mm, I'm not going to do it. No, I have a vision and you just have to say no. Be strong with it. I can do all things through the word that I'm speaking through my mouth through the faith that I have in God to help me stay strong. All right, look at us, boom. So that's a positive impact that we have on ourselves, and then it also have an impact on the world. Have you made an impact on the world? Have you helped somebody today? You gave them a smile, you said hello, good morning, you know, blessings. Good morning, king, hey, hey, queen. You uplifting people, you encouraging them. That is a impact. OK, so be kind to yourself, be kind to others, um, your body. You got to be kind to your body. You get tired, exhausted, easy, but you got to look. What am I doing to myself? What, what am I doing to myself? That's self-appreciation to let go of some of those habits and those ways, things that are keeping you down. Except uh, self-acceptance is about your flaws. You have any flaws that you have, my fluffiness. I accept it, but I'm also don't accept it because I can work on it. And I'm not just feeling like, oh, I'm just fluffing. Oh, and I keep eating, keep don't do nothing about it. You could do something about that. You don't always have to be there. It's up to you. You know, help help you help yourself. All right. So what about um a part of you? What's a part of you that you know that you could work on? What's a part of you that you know that you, you know, is really what are your attributes? That's what a part of you can work on. What are your attributes that you have within yourself? 
All right. So as you start to build this self-appreciation, you've got to be mindful. There's always a thin line between everything. You know, um, sometimes we can get to a point that we get so <laughs> and next thing we know, you know, we didn't got cocky, arrogant and conceited. That looks don't look good on us. Not in that self-appreciation as we begin to grow. Is it still about being humble? You know, as you start getting, you know, oh, what? <laughs> yes, baby. That part. Yeah. So try to have your, you know, attitude with gratitude, not necessarily with cockiness and arrogant. Uh, don't be a, a narcissist. Uh, don't, you know, praise yourself. Uh, too much. You can give yourself a pat on the back and, you know, like, oh, yes, and cheer yourself on. But to be the point where it become your positive, become a negative, you just got to be mind, mindful of that and stop bullying yourself. You know, we always doing self-inflicted things when we can't get our way or we don't achieve at the time. Like when I was doing this Daniel diet, that scale didn't move for a couple of days. It had me scared like, oh my word, what am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? Am I overeating? Am I eating too much? Don't eat till you can't breathe. You know, just eat enough to get full, you know. So that's what that was about. And I think I was just glitting. I think I was overdoing it because it was so delicious. All right, so practice your gratitude, like I say. Um, like whatever you like about yourself, how can I practice gratitude? What do you like about yourself? You know, so like I say, if you sitting there and you want to date yourself and, um, you have to look at what do you like? What are, what are some of your qualities? What do you like about yourself? And then you challenge yourself with these things that you feel like what you like in a person. Well, see if, make sure that it's found in you. How can you hold a person to a grade that what you like, but then what you like, you know, what, what you think that they like. So as you date yourself, put yourself on the other side and then look at yourself and see what the qualities and things that you uh, understand. Don't forget the journal. Uh, be excited to do things with yourself, you know, to approve yourself. And this is not about nobody else. This is a self-gratification to get you to the level or to the position that you want to be. We're going somewhere. So where you want to go, but some things you have to shed off, some bags you have to let go because it's too much weight that we are carrying on ourselves. It's a hard thing to do, but guess what? You're not doing it by yourself. You don't, what's the word? Have you heard? And we can journey together. So, but uh, ask for help, you know, and people that you feel that will help you, even if they might not have monetary gifts, it may be wisdom and knowledge to help you along your way. Okay. And so what to do to be a better version of yourself, write all this down, do daily routines, um, about something that that's your favorite, you know, what are your favorite daily routine routines that you like about yourself? These are things that you could do for a practice, your gratitude, and have that attitude to help yourself. Okay, love your neighbor as yourself. So if you loving your neighbor but not loving yourself, then that's like an unbalance. You know how how is that? First you got to love yourself, and then you're able to love somebody else. Okay, so that's that inner self. Work on that inner self, and the inner self it automatically it shines and people can tell because it's a natural glow that comes in that ooze out of you okay it's an unfading beauty that you have and it's very gentle your spirit is gentle your spirit is quiet and people can see even when you just all by yourself and you think but still it's just something about you that just makes you what so cute all right so be humble don't be proud let go of that ego uh, your self-esteem, give yourself some self-love and love people once again as you love yourself, okay? So these are all the self-appreciation attributes and ways that you can work on yourself to give you some self-appreciation day, okay? Uh, and these are the word, self-appreciation is the word that we have for today. So mm, now you done heard blessings and peace and love. Mm, we're out.